Hi guys, there's been a lot of speculation as to when the next patch is, what's going to be in it, uh, but I wanted to give you some information on how to interpret these numbers for yourself because you're very likely going to uh, read your like read the patch notes on your own before you watch any videos and get other people's interpretation on it. So I just wanted to give uh, some tips on how to take into the numbers. Not everyone is good at math and numbers can be very deceiving. So one of the things from 6.84 was uh, melee lane creep bounty reduced from 43 to 40, which is a minus 7% uh, gold decrease for the amount of gold that you get for a melee lane creep. So if we just assume that you get 20% less gold for every single creep, um, oh sorry, firstly, you might assume that because it's 7% less gold, it will take you 7% longer to farm your items. Not that unreasonable of an assumption, but it is actually not correct. And let me show you why. Uh, so if we have a thousand gold item, let's say Blade of Alacrity into a Yasha, you get 50 gold per creep, arbitrary number, bounty reduced by 20% to make calculations a little bit easier. You get, uh, you need 20 creeps to farm your 1,000 gold item before and then after the nerf. Uh, creeps now only give you 40 gold and now it will actually take you 25 creeps instead of 20 creeps, which is a 25% increase. So a 20% reduction in bounty will um, mean that it takes you 25% longer to get your first item and 25% longer to get your next item after that and so on and so forth. All your items keep getting uh, pushed back more and more and there's a slight cumulative effect to that so it might not seem like that much but uh, a lot of these small numbers actually have a bigger impact than you might initially realize another one is uh, solar crest and evasion in general it gives you 30 percent evasion and uh, some people might assume that you have to attack 30 percent more because you miss 30 percent of your attacks which again is not logical and let me give you an extreme example uh, let's say you have 90 percent evasion so you only connect on 10 of your hits and it takes you uh, let's say 10 connected hits to actually kill someone so before it would just take you 10 hits because they have zero percent evasion now if they have 90 percent evasion it'll take you a hundred hits because you will hit 10 percent of those hits so 10 percent of 100 is 10 and it'll take you 10 hits to kill that guy so 90 percent evasion leads to 10 times the amount of attacks that you uh need so that's just some basic math for that sort of thing and then another one is uh like increase in skill radiuses so astral spirit Elder Titan has been commonly called the worst hero of 6.84 and that he needs a buff. So let's say Ice Rock decides to buff him. Astral Spirit effect radius increased by 100. You might look at the number and like, oh, that kind of sounds like a good buff, but 100 range isn't that big. Is that even really do anything for him? Well, let's see. If we assume that Astral Spirit uh, Astral Spirit effect radius is 150, 175, 200, 225 and scales per level. This is not accurate, by the way, but this is just for the sake of argument. Uh, area equals pi r squared. Level 1 pre-nerf, or sorry, pre-buff is uh, 150 squared times pi. Level 1 post-buff is one, 250 squared times pi. And then if you divide it all out, it comes out to uh, the third air, the sorry, the next area being 278 uh, percent of the first one. So nearly three times as large. And again, 100 radius is like kind of you, you might not exactly know what that means, but once you get the skill effect radius as well as crunch numbers, it's almost three times as big, which is massive. And then level four, uh, pre-buff, level four, post-buff, do all the math. It's about 208% of the original, so about twice as big or 108% increase. So that's also pretty big. If Wouldn't you like it if Lena had 1,200 attack range instead of 600? That's you know, that's a 100% increase. So uh, that's, you know, what some of these numbers can mean. And not always is it this drastic, but you can kind of get a sense of how uh, you have to sometimes crunch numbers to see how a particular number will impact things. And I speculate that Medallion slash Solar Crest might get nerfed at some point, maybe like a minus one armor. So instead of 10 armor, it'll give you minus nine armor. And you'll be like, okay, whatever, that's just one armor. How big of a difference does that make? But if you're taking down Roshan, who has a very, very large percent 
HP, let's just say like 10,000, and then he gets one more armor, it might take you uh, a few more seconds to chew through that 600 effective HP, which might lead to a huge Roche fight. I remember one time uh, the Phoenix Egg got buffed to like one more hit at a person i love it. i was like ah oh, whatever i went into a game i was troll i started beating on the egg there was one hit left it exploded we got team wiped and we lost the game and it was just one hit that decided the difference and that was actually like a patch change that i kind of dismissed so now i've been like super wary about seemingly small changes because small things in can have a very very large effect you know people talk about the butterfly effect and stuff it's really not that much different in dota so be very keen uh take a you know really good look at the numbers and try and uh try and crunch numbers yourself and don't dismiss things instantly as a very small or a large buff until you actually play with it and or crunch numbers so again i don't exactly know when the patch is going to hit i would speculate a couple of weeks but again i have nothing really to go off of that's just what i think personally so thank you guys for watching please subscribe at youtube.com slash merlini dota and of course i will post a patch analysis after it comes out if it comes out so thank you guys peace out